Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at more problems on resonant frequency and Q fractal. Before we begin, if you are new to my science tutorials, kindly consider subscribing and turning on the notification button so that you do not miss any of our latest tutorials on biology, chemistry, mathematics, and physics. So without further ado, let's begin. Now in our previous tutorial, we did look at how to calculate resonant frequency and how to calculate the voltage magnification or the Q factor. Now in this tutorial, I want to look at more examples to further enhance our understanding on resonant frequency and Q factor. So we have example number one. We have to find a resonant frequency of a series AC circuit consisting of a coil of resistance 10 ohms and inductance 50 milli Henry and capacitance 0.05 microfarad. We also to find the current flowing at resonance if the voltage supply is 100 volts. All right, so this is very easy. Let's write down our solution. So as usual, the first thing I need to do is to write down all the parameters that I have. So I was asked to find resonant frequency, which I don't know. And then I was told that we have a core having a resistance of 10 ohms an inductance of 50 millihenry and then we have a capacitor having a capacitance of 0 0.05 microfarad i was also told to find a current which i do not know if my voltage supply is 100 volts okay so let's go ahead and find the resonant frequency fr so in our previous video we saw that resonant frequency is equal to the ratio 1 over 2 pi root L C. So knowing that, we can go ahead and find our resonant frequency. So this is equal to 1 over 2 pi, the root of L, which is 50, times 10 raised to the power minus 3, multiplied by the capacitance, which is 0 0.05, times 10 raised to the power minus 6. Okay. So if we compute everything here into the calculator, we are going to get 3.183 kilohertz as our resonant frequency. Okay, so this is I or A. Now I, I, or the second aspect, we're told to find the current flowing at resonance. Okay, so the current at resonance, we use V is equal to I, R, so we know that our voltage is 100 volts is equal to our current we don't know and then our resistance we know is 10. so if we divide both sides by 10 by 10 we get our current to be equal to 10 amperes over here all right so let's look at the next example example number two the current at resonance in a series RLC circuit is 0 0.2 milliamperes. If the applied voltage is 250 millivolts at a frequency of 100 kilohertz and a circuit capacitance of 0, 0.0 microfarad, we have to find the circuit resistance and inductance. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what we can do in this uh, problem. So we are were asked that the current at resonance in a series RLC circuit is so we have our current to be 0 0.2 milliamperes and then the voltage is 250 millivolts the frequency okay which is the resonance frequency here it's 1000 kilohertz then we have the circuit capacitance is 0 0.04 microfarad we have to find the resistance and the inductance okay so to find the resistance that is very easy we use v is equal to ir we already have our voltage we have our current so we can easily find our resistance so if we make resistance the subject here that will be equal to our voltage on current and then our voltage over here is 250 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 on our current is 0 
times 10 raised to the power minus 3. So this is going to give us a resistance of 1.25 kilo ohms as our resistance. All right, so let's look at how to find the inductance. Now in finding the inductance, we realize that there's a bit of a problem because there's no way we can find the inductance but we were given a clue we have our resonance frequency we know that the resonance frequency fr is equal to 1 over 2 pi the root lc so we have our inductance over here so we need to make the inductance the subject by cross multiplying so if we cross multiply and we make inductance or l the subject we are going to have l to be equal to 1 over 4 pi squared resonance frequency squared multiplied by capacitance okay so using this if we do the substitution we are going to have 1 on 4 pi squared the resonance frequency we're given to be 100,000 so 100 times 10 raised to the power 3 squared don't forget to square that then multiply by the capacitance which is 0 0.04 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 okay so if we compute everything we have over here into our calculator we are going to get 6.33 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 and if we bring this over here the dots to okay to one decimal place we are going to have that to be 63.3 .3, and this becomes times 10 raised to the power minus 6 Henry or someone will just write 63.3 .3 micro henry as our inductor so let's go ahead and look at one final example all right so we have a coil of resistance 25 ohms and inductance 100 millihenry is connected in series with a capacitance of 0 0.12 microfarad across a 200 volt variable frequency supply we are to calculate a the resonance frequency B, the current at resonance, and C, the factor by which the voltage across the reactance is greater than the supply voltage, or what you normally call the Q factor. All right, so let's go ahead and write down our solution. So we have a coil of resistance R to be equal to 25 ohms. We have our inductance is 100 millihenry connected in series with a capacitor of 0.12 microfarad and then we have a voltage of 200 volts over here so we have to find a the resonance frequency okay and we know that resonance frequency is 1 over 2 pi the root of lc so this is getting uh, pretty usual the same trend so we have 1 on 2 pi the root of our L is 100 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 multiplied by our capacitor with capacitance 0 0.12 times 10 raised to the power minus 6. So this is equal to, if we compute everything we have here into our calculator, we are going to get 1.452 kilohertz as our frequency over here. So let's look at B. The current at resonance so to find the current at resonance we use v is equal to ir and then this implies that our current is equal to the voltage on the resistance and then we're given the voltage to be 200 volts and then the resistance to be 25 so if we do that 200 on divided by 25 or 200 on 25 will give us 8 amperes as our current so let's look at C, our Q factor. Now Q factor, there are so many ways to calculate Q factor. The common way to calculate Q factor is to quote the Q factor formula, which is equal to one over R, the root of L on C. So this is equal to one over 25, multiplied by the root of our L is 100, and standard is the power minus three, on our C is 0 0.12 times 10 raised to the power minus 6. 
So if we compute everything here into the calculator, we are going to get 36.5 volts. Or we can use Q factor is equal to XL on R that is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the resonant frequency 1.452 times 10 raised to the power 3 so 2 pi FL okay, XL is 2 pi FL so our L is 100 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 all on our resistance which is 25 So if we do that, we compute this into the calculator, we are going to get our answer to be 36.493, which is approximately equal to 36.5 volts. So we see that the Q factor, no matter whether we use the direct formula or we use XL on R, or we find VL and we divide it by just the voltage, which is 200 over here, we are still going to get the same answer for our Q factor. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.